what's up guys this is Dave from Folksy Overlanding here we are at the Ozarks and it is supposed to get down to 16 degrees tonight and I've got uh, this buddy heater is going to keep me warm I got a fan up here to help circulate the uh, the heat and uh, I've got we have three other Jeeps with us to, out here and they are camping in their inside their jeeps they they don't have they're, they're probably the smarter ones because <laughs> they got heat controlled you know i have to go pretty much get this warm in here and i'm going to try to shut it off and get wrapped up in this uh coleman sleeping bag that i have and i have electric blanket with it so i should stay you know pretty decent in here hopefully I mean, if not, I can wake up and turn the heater back on. It won't take but probably five seconds or something to get warm it back up in here. So, we have some guys with us from the NEA Jeep Club. We have Gordon, Charlie, and Bradley with us out here. I believe we're going to have a good time. But in the meantime, I'm fixing to go to sleep. It's 9.30 p.m., uh I don't plan on <laughs> getting getting up at the the crack of dawn. I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit longer. Maybe let it get warmed up just a hair before I cook uh a breakfast. Um so I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll get on the trail and um have a good time. Bye. Yeah, so if you remember on my last video <clears throat> about the awesome camp spot in Ozarks, this is it. We finally made it here. Got down to seven degrees last night. We got we got Gordon, Bradley, and Charlie and their rigs out. We're currently airing down. So we got Bradley and Charlie trying to help clean this <clears throat> this tight trail up. <laughs> uh, 
this trail's tight. Y'all see the sky last night, or did y'all have a chance? Man, it was awesome. I was out. I saw the moon this morning. I did see the moon this morning. Yeah. Well, I parked, threw some shit out, and got right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I, to say, I told them, I was like, he didn't waste no time. Nuh uh. We saw on a little we movie, and I was like, I was we saw the movie it. players. Yeah. I saw, I was like, dang, Gordon would put a hair in his We're going to on Netflix. I'm, we're watching the Christmas movie tonight, and we're watching it. <laughs> I had to download it for school because it was... I'm glad we decided to come here when we did. Yeah. Oh, man, I was... My head was pounding. That's yeah. what mine was. I was ready. I was ready for bed. Gotcha. This looks amazing and I'm pretty sure it's a pool. <laughs> looks good. She's got her breakfast bowl going on over here. That's one thing that we do. We cook a lot of food. Breakfast is the best.
made it to Pilot Rock and uh, we're going to stop and eat lunch after everybody starts, you know, wants to take their pictures and what have you. Yeah, super pretty though. I mean, this right here would never get old. Look at here. Don't shut it off. Whatever you do, your muffler's underwater, Bubba.
Turn driver and back up a well. She's on this rock back here. <clears throat> Now she needs to turn passenger. There it is. Got my fender again. Good job, girl. Yeah. You get up to the top, straddle that pedal up there. <laughs> It just keeps going. I mean, it's. I call that beast mode. Yeah, I hear you. Oh, really? Yeah, that, that entrance, I got real bad too. I don't know if I did any damage, but I could hear my tires rubbing all over the place. New fender is only 50 bucks. Man, you might be able to pull that out, you know, get some flat metal with some vice grips and just kind of on both sides of the bin. You know, those seat metal clamps, they got yeah. wide ends, get some of those, maybe you can pull it out. I'm going to end up putting some bushwhacker fenders, yeah. kind of like what y'all have. Yeah, but that board, it, it still looks clean, as long as it didn't affect how you open the door, I wouldn't even mess with it. Yeah. Until you got, like you said, your fenders, then try to pull it out. Nope. <clears throat> that lift it just flexes so much and yeah. I done cut it out two inches you might have to add some of that bump stop you know yeah I, don't, I got yeah you might have too much travel <laughs> and I don't have sway bars yeah yeah so that's true so y'all see if y'all it curves up and then you we're gonna go up that little hill so it just keeps on going, it's going to curve back and that's where it clays at. <laughs> 